Hello guys we are back yet again with another bang. Let me take this moment and welcome you into MJ School of Mining and Geology YouTube channel. Did you know that geologic maps show information collected manually in the field such as rock types, faults, fold, fractures, and or deposits? Please like share comment and subscribe to find out. Let us dive right into today's video. A geologic map is a graphical information display that uses a combination of colors, lines, and symbols to depict the composition and structure of geologic materials and their distribution across and beneath the landscape. The graphical display contains both descriptive information about geologic units and structures and an interpretive model of how they were formed. This combination of descriptive and interpretive geologic map information provides a conceptual framework that relates all the geologic elements of an area together. This will make sure that the position, characteristics, and origin of each element are understood in relation to all other elements. Such a unique synthesis of descriptive and interpretive information makes the geologic map a powerful research tool for understanding the Earth's composition and structure, internal and external processes, and history. A single general-purpose geologic map thus provides a comprehensive record of a diverse suite of geologic features, and this characteristic makes the map a primary database for a broad range of societal and scientific applications. For a prescribed area, such a map might identify bedrock formations like granite, limestone, sandstone, or shale and their altered or mineralized equivalents. Surficial units like soils, landslides, and sediment deposited by streams, wind, glaciers, and hill slope processes, and geologic structures like folds, faults, and fractures can also be identified. Geological maps like any other maps such as topographic map and many other must have a scale, legends, and north arrow. Legend or key is a list or diagram that explains the symbols and colors used on the map, including rock formations, geological structures, and other features. Scale is a ratio or bar scale that indicates the relationship between distances on the map and actual distances on the ground. North arrow is a symbol that shows the orientation of the map, usually pointing to true north. Geologic formations are different rock units that are shown using distinctive colors or patterns, with each formation labeled according to its age and type. Geologic units are indicated by colors that can range from yellows and reds to purples and browns. Not only are geologic units assigned to colors but also a set of letters. Structural features include faults, folds, and other features that show how the rock layers have been deformed over time. Marginal information is an additional information about the map, such as the date it was created, the name of the geologist who made it, and the source of the data used to create it. Explanatory notes is also an additional information about the geology of the area, including the geological history, mineral resources, and other relevant details. The regional geologic map is universally recognized as the instrument of choice for planning and executing research and decisions that involve earth science information. Its utility and value derive from the fact that the unique information content of a geologic map can be used to characterize the geologic setting of a specific site in the context of the surrounding region. Scientists, decision makers, and managers can extrapolate the results of site-specific investigations outward to adjacent sites or regions where investigations have not been conducted. By so doing they will be able to forecast or predict geologic conditions where data are limited. The regional geologic map forms a fundamental database for earth science applications that require a predictive capability, geohazards evaluation, resource assessment, and environmental analysis. Because of its comprehensive information content, a geologic map is the primary database for a broad range of societal and scientific applications. Each specialized application extracts one or more information attributes from the general-purpose geologic map and combines these attributes into special-purpose derivative maps that address specific geologic features, processes, or applications. The geologic map thus should be viewed as a first-order information layer that can be combined with information layers from other geologic, geographic, hydrologic, or demographic disciplines. Making geological maps is a complex and multi-stage process that involves a variety of techniques and tools. Here presented to you are some of the key steps involved in making geological maps. The first step in making a geological map is to collect data about the area being mapped. This typically involves fieldwork, including mapping rock outcrops, taking measurements of the rock properties, and collecting samples for laboratory analysis. Once the data has been collected, a base map is prepared, which typically includes topographic features such as contour lines, roads, and rivers. This base map provides a framework for the geological map and helps to locate the geological features accurately. The geological map is created by overlaying the geological data onto the base map. 
This involves drawing lines and symbols to represent the different rock types, geological structures, and other features of interest. Different colors and symbols are used to represent different types of rock formations, faults, folds, and other geological features. Once the geological map has been created, it needs to be compiled, which involves preparing a final copy of the map that is suitable for publication or presentation. This may involve digitizing the map, adding labels and legends, and ensuring that the map is accurate and easy to read. Once the map has been compiled, it can be used for interpretation and analysis. Geologists use geological maps to understand the geology of an area, to identify potential mineral deposits, and to plan geological surveys and exploration activities. In conclusion, geologic maps are uniquely suited to solving problems involving earth resources, hazards, and environments. These maps represent the distribution of different types of rock and surficial deposits, as well as locations of geologic structures such as faults and folds. Geologic maps are the primary source of information for various aspects of land use planning, including the siting of buildings and transportation systems. Such maps help identify groundwater aquifers, aid in locating water supply wells, and assist in locating potential polluting operations, such as landfills, safely away from the aquifers. Thank you for joining us today. It has been a great pleasure to share this interesting topic with you. Our next topic on geological maps will be on interpretation of geological maps. Stay blessed and cheerful.